We're in the Detroit Institute of Arts on the Saturday before Easter. We're here to see Sabrina Nelson. Sabrina paints a picture. She's going to reinterpret one of Norman Rockwell's famous paintings, Freedom of Worship. One of his Four Freedoms posters. There's a huge Norman Rockwell show here now at the Detroit Institute of Arts. So we're going to um, kind of watch Sabrina for a few minutes, look at her setup. Harry James Marshall. Him, but I keep following him. So he was here not long ago. I know. Everybody tells me that I'm like, I probably was on the road recruiting for CCS, but I missed him. Really not bad to be set up here, is it? versus painting here in front of people and I like to talk to the kids about it especially the, the little girls that come up you know about um, my process and what I use so it's kind of hard to stay focused on really what I'm supposed to be doing yeah I can imagine oh you've got the t-shirt on too yes yes <laughs> and it went with my fancy jeans and fancy shoes which I never wear because jeans are ridiculous Anybody under 40, that's cool. After a while, when stuff starts moving out, <laughs> oh, you know, then you need to go. I need spandex. Well, you need and to go a and get. Elastic. You need to go where I get my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> All of this. Um, and I love this guy. Oh, Barkley Hendrix, oh yeah. God. Barkley Hendrix is it. He is the man. So, do you use? A lot of this as your inspiration. Yes, absolutely. Mario and I went to uh, the Studio Museum of Harlem to see his work. We missed the show like two weeks from now. He's in Philadelphia. But I'm thinking of going there. Mario's been to Philadelphia on the NAACP trip. And so I want to go. Um, I've never been to Philadelphia. I want to go and see Barclay's work. I absolutely adore his paintings. Well, let me come around. I want to see. Uh, oh, you're working from a computer image. Yeah, because I don't have a printed image of her picture, and I don't like the... I mean, these are really beautiful pictures, but I didn't like the way that it looked with King. Mm -hmm. So I'm using this image of King. I'm using this image of Jessica. Tell me who these people are. Jessica Caremore is a local poet. Um, I guess I want to call her a poet laureate, but she won the uh, uh, Apollo Poetry Slam several years ago, probably like eight or nine years ago. And so um, 
I just really like her, and I'm doing a whole series of Black Madonnas. Oh. And so she's one of those that I wanted to do, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to name it Madonna and King or if I'm going to name it Our Lady of Detroit. Only thing I can't get on this video is the wonderful smell of the oil paint yeah, that's nice. and the solvents. To me, that is a big part of it. But then I'm a painter. Right? When you walk in a studio and you can smell it, you're like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is coming along really wonderfully. Oh, thank you. I want to build it up, so I, I probably won't finish it here, mm -hmm. but I, I just want to keep building it up and kind of building it up, kind of like the skin of it, the armature of it, and I, I haven't resolved what I want to do with um, the body. I definitely want her D tattoo over here, but most of the Madonna and Child things that I've seen, most of the women wear blue garments with a red um, robe underneath. So I'm going to figure out a way to put some fabric here, red, gold, and blue. And then I'll probably leave, leave King bare. And so it'll probably be his body here. Her arm will be here. And then the English D is here because she does have this really nice old English D tattoo that's going to go right there. Like in honor of our city and the Tigers. That's right. This is also good because I think painting is a mysterious process for most people. Right, they think of it as and magic or you, you're born with it and a lot of people don't. To me, they don't realize that you can learn like the steps. It's not quite paint by numbers, but you can learn the process of painting and mixing mm -hmm. and adding colors and values and depth. Um, but if you don't really enjoy it, you know, and for me, it's just really about enjoying it. Like, I'm enjoying the movement of the oil as opposed to what this looks like. Well, so. what's interesting also is look at the colors on the palette and the colors on the painting. It's as if the painting has to exist here right. first before it exists there. You know, there was a series in um, Art News magazine in the 50s called so-and-so paints a picture oh, wow. like um, Alex Katz paints a picture or uh, Lee Krasner paints a picture and what they did was they exposed the um, public? the public to the process of making art and what it just gives it it takes away that mysteriousness hmm. you don't and need us telling you it's wonderful but it's wonderful I wish they had like a a camera yeah. on it and then that way there could be a permanent record yeah. over the from the beginning to the to the to the um, end of the You know what I've been taking pictures of each process so I have step by step by step even me um, when I just tone the canvas I have that so I have it on video too. Oh good. Well then you ought to upload it. I have. But only on my page. Oh, I gotta go there. Gets my feet. <laughs> I gotta go. I was telling her yesterday when Boswell showed me the picture of you and him that something about that picture, just a very small bit of that picture, looks like Makila. Oh no, she told me. Hey, you back. I'm always back. What are you doing? That's the new work. <laughs> well, Sabrina has a steady stream of people observing her painting. That's right. Yeah. Well, we're all performance artists, aren't we? In a certain degree. I perform all the time. Oh, it was like that. No, it's my friend Jessica. Yeah. See? This is Jessica. Come over here. Part of being an artist is teaching.
That's what Sabrina's doing. So. Okay, here we go. I think whack We're going to leave her now. Yeah. Okay, sweet. I hope so. <laughs> that's whack. I haven't heard that compliment today. So that's a good 